Yes. Indeed. Yes. It's you, the Grey Warden. Andraste's mercy that you got here when you did. I thought for sure these monsters were going to get me. They all fled to the castle this morning, before the Dark Swan arrived. I thought I could make it to my home and back before they got here, but it took me too long to get down here. What a relief you arrived. I'm going to get out of here before any more of those things arrive. Thank you again.
My lady, you're here. Thank goodness. Some did, yes, but we were able to close the gates and kill the ones in the courtyard. I was told to watch for your arrival, Warden. Your comrade Riordan arrived just ahead of the Darkspawn attack. He has urgent news for you. I should take you to the hall right away, my lady. They'll be waiting for you there. It's a relief to see you unharmed. And you as well, Alistair. Or should I say your majesty? Uh, no. No, I wouldn't say that. Not yet, anyway. The darkspawn that attacked Redcliffe were relatively few in number, I'm afraid. It was assumed the Horde was marching in this direction, but that is not true. Riordan tells us that the bulk of the Horde is in fact heading towards Denerim. They are perhaps two days away from the capital. What? Are we sure about that? I mean, if that's true... I ventured close enough to listen in, as it were. I am quite certain. There is, I'm afraid, one other piece of news that is of even greater concern. The Archdemon has shown itself. The dragon is at the head of the Horde. Make her preserve us. But we can't reach Denrim within two days, can we? It's too far. We must begin a forced march to the capital immediately with what we have. Denerim must be defended at all costs. And only the Grey Wardens can defeat the Archdemon. That is why we must go. Then we march, and hope the army we've collected here gives us the chance we need. Al Eamon, how long before the army can set out? By daybreak. Then let's get them ready. I won't let all those people die without giving them a chance. To reach the Archdemon, we need to break through the Horde. To do that, we need the army. I see no other way. I will give the orders at once, and will notify you the moment we are ready to march. That would be appreciated. Then if you and Alistair could meet me before you retire, we have Grey Warden business to discuss. I will have someone show you to your rooms. I suggest you all get some rest while you can. We will need it. I stand here staring out to the east, and I can feel it. I suspect that you can too. As if it weren't enough that one of the most noble and terrible creatures ever to be spawned of our world should be twisted into something so unnatural. I cannot imagine what we shall do once we encounter it. Do you have a plan? No, truly I don't. And more's the pity. If you'll excuse me, I need to meditate to gather my strength, if I'm to be of any use to you come the morning. Good evening, Grey Warden, and good luck. And what word have we from Orzammar? Has House Claret sent their men, or haven't they? Eh, stalling, which is as good as a no. House Claret's feud with House Romald has flared up again since their son died in that Deep Roads business. So naturally, they're pleading the need for self-defense. Huh. Fine time to start with that nonsense again. I've half a mind to... Ah. Evening to you, Grey Warden. I didn't realize you were still up and about. Nothing that can be dealt with now, I'm afraid. Just one of the houses being thicker than the stone that made them. Once all of this blight business is done, there will be a reckoning in the assembly. They're probably half hoping we'll all wind up dead. That way they'll have one of the strongest forces left in Orzammar. Enough to face the Darkspawn all on their own, I suppose? That's exactly the kind of half hour thinking that got us into the mess after Endrin passed. It was our good fortune that you decided to go to Orzammar when you did, Grey Warden. For all that a surfacer needed our help, I expect we needed yours more. Right. Off to camp with both of you, and keep the drunkenness to a minimum. We have a long way to go yet. Pleasant evening to you, Grey Warden. And good fortune on the field of battle.
What do you wish of me? We are hardly alone, so privacy is not an option. It is your question, however. Ask what you will. I am here because Flemeth commanded me to aid you. Why? Do you wish me to leave? I can do so if you prefer. Then I assume our discussion ends here. There you are. Let's go see what reward. There you are. Let's go see what... You're both here. Good. You're new to the Grey Wardens, and you may not have been told how an Archdemon is slain. I need to know if that is so. You mean there's more to it than just, say, chopping off its head? So it is true. Duncan had not yet told you. I had simply assumed. Tell me. Have you ever wondered why the Grey Wardens are needed to defeat the Darkspawn? That is exactly what it involves. The Archdemon may be slain, as any other Darkspawn, but should any other than a Grey Warden do the slaying, it will not be enough. The essence of the beast will pass through the taint to the nearest Darkspawn and will be reborn anew in that body. The dragon is thus all but immortal. But if the Archdemon is slain by a Grey Warden, its essence travels into the Grey Warden instead. A Darkspawn is an empty, soulless vessel, but a Grey Warden is not. The essence of the Archdemon is destroyed, and so is the Grey Warden. Meaning... the Grey Warden who kills the Archdemon... dies? Yes. Without the Archdemon, the Blight ends. It is the only way. It warms my heart to see such courage. But do not hurry so to sacrifice your life. If possible, the final blow should be mine to make. I am the Eldest and the Taint will not spare me much longer. But if I fail, the deed falls on you. The Blight must be stopped now, or it will destroy all of Ferelden before the rest of the Grey Wardens can assemble. Remember that. But enough. There will be much to do tomorrow, and little enough time to rest before it. I will let you return to your rooms. I will see you once the army is ready to march, then. I guess this ends soon, one way or another. That it does, my friend. That it does. You should get some sleep before morning. There will be much to do when the army marches. Do not be alarmed. It is only I. I am well. Tis you who are in danger. I have a plan, you see. A way out. The loop in your hole. I know what happens when the Archdemon dies. I know a Grey Warden must be sacrificed, and that sacrifice could be you. I have come to tell you that this does not need to be. I offer a way out. A way out for all the Grey Wardens that there need be no sacrifice. A ritual. Performed on the eve of battle, in the dark of night. It is old magic, from a time before the Circle of Magi was created. Some might call it blood magic, but that is but a name. There is far more to fear in this world than names. What I propose is this. Convince Alistair to lay with me, here tonight. And from this ritual, a child shall be conceived within me. The child will bear the taint. And when the Archdemon is slain, its essence will seek the child like a beacon. At this early stage, the child can absorb that essence and not perish. The Archdemon is still destroyed with no Grey Warden dying in the process. Not at all. It will become something different. 
a child born with the soul of an old god. After this is done, you allow me to walk away, and you do not follow, ever. The child will be mine to raise as I wish. As you wish. Allow me to say that what I seek is the essence of the old god that once was, and not the dark forces that corrupted it. Some things are worth preserving in this world. Make of that what you will. I have no doubt he may, but he will not. It is all I ask for in return. I do not wish to tell you. Ignoring that after but one night it could barely be called a child, no, it will not be hurt. It will be changed. Then you have decided? Even if I thought Riordan could be convinced, he is unsuitable. I need one who has not been tainted for long. It must be him, and it must be tonight. This is what my mother intended when she sent me with you. She was the one who first gave me this ritual and told me of what I was meant to do. This does not surprise you, does it? Did you not wonder why Flemeth saved your life? Why she aided you? This is why. What is important is that I am offering this to you now. It will work, and it will save your life. You will advise him to do so, and because he trusts you more than he would ever trust me, he will comply. Consider the alternative. If Riordan fails, do you think Alistair will hesitate? The future king of Ferelden? He will die the hero and you will be overshadowed. Just a Grey Warden who accompanied the king. I think you have many good reasons to tell him to save his own life. I think you should consider them carefully. Do not let your foolish pride condemn you. No Grey Warden asked for the sacrifice that is now demanded of them, and I offer all of you a way out. Will you not reconsider? Then you are a fool! I will not stand by and watch you waste this opportunity. Die if you feel it is worthwhile, or be overshadowed. I care not. I am already gone. Fare you well, Grey Warden. Should you live past the morrow, seek me out at your own peril. We have gathered all the forces we can. The Darkspawn Horde is sure to reach the capital before us. And so we must race to Denerim as quickly as we can. The lives of many thousands hang in the balance. We must not forsake them. You have gathered an army to replace the one lost at Ostagar, Grey Warden. Let us pray that it will be enough.
Before us stands the might of the Darkspawn Horde. Gaze upon them now, but fear them not. This woman beside me is a native of Ferelden, risen to the ranks of the Grey Wardens. She is proof that glory is within reach of us all. She has survived despite the odds, and without her, none of us would be here. Today, we save Denerim. Today, we avenge the death of my brother, King Caelan. But most of all, today, we show the Grey Wardens that we remember and honor their sacrifice. For Ferelden, for the Grey Wardens!
You've managed to fight your way to the gates. We're doing better than I hoped. That will change quickly. Bloody Nug Runners are outnumbered three to one! What are we to do now, Riordan? You have a plan, I assume? The army will not last long, so we need to move quickly to reach the Archdemon. I suggest taking Alistair and no more than two others with you into the city. Anyone you don't bring with you can remain here to prevent more Darkspawn from entering Denerim on our tails. We're going to need to reach a high point in the city. I'm thinking the top of Fort Draken might work. The top of... You want to draw the dragon's attention? We have little choice, though I warn you that as soon as we engage the beast, it will call all its generals to help it. I can sense two generals in Denerim. You may wish to seek them out before going to Fort Draken. I am sure that if we did slay those generals, it would stop the Darkspawn in the city from doing a lot of harm. It may also waste resources trying to find them. The decision is up to you. There are already several units of our allies within the city by now. They may be able to come to your assistance if you call them, but their strength will be limited. Now, who do you wish to take with you into the city? Yes. Yes. Indeed. Fair enough. Anyone else will need to remain here and assist in keeping more Darkspawn from coming in the gates behind us. Who will lead them? Very likely. Good. That should be sufficient. Nothing you have done has prepared you for what you face now. May the Maker watch over you. Well, this is it, Warden. When from the blood of battle the stone is fed, let the heroes prevail and the blighters lie dead. <laughs> As one of the blighters, I sodding salute you. Let's show them our hearts, and then show them theirs. So the Archdemon is next, is it? Well, good luck with that. carried us this far. Do not doubt that. So this is it? This is the end? We've come so far. It's strange knowing that all our fates will be decided in a matter of hours. We stand on the precipice before the greatest battle of our age. I wonder if the heroes of old ever felt like this. I am not afraid. We go to fight for a good cause, and there is nowhere else I would rather be. This day, we will forge a legend of our own. Before we head after the Archdemon, I want to say something. Either we both die trying to kill it, or one of us dies making the final blow. Either way, both of us aren't walking out of here. So I just want you to know that it's been an honor fighting by your side. The honor of the Grave Wardens. I hope most of the people are able to free the ships that form a horde. Kill those godless bastards! We're counting on you, Warden! Make a watch over you!
attack. You! It's you! The Maker sure gave you the gift of good timing, didn't he? There's a large group of Darkspawn approaching and the gates won't hold. We need your help. Uh, all right. I only hope there is time to... They're breaking through! Run, all of you! Run for your lives! You saved many lives here today. Thank you. Please, take this. I pray it helps you in your coming battles. We have to go. May the Maker watch over you.
again. It shall be as you say. Beware! A large group of Darkspawn have broken away from the battle! They're charging this way! They'll be here any minute! Shall I send word that the gates are secured? Right away.
pictures. <laughs>